Hey guys, welcome back. This is Command Block Gate here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the summon command to summon fireworks in Minecraft 1.14 Java Edition. So without further ado, let's get started. Please note that this command is long, and that I had to fit this all into a command block. First things first, type in slash summon. Next, you're going to type in firework underscore rocket. Then you're going to type in coordinates. In this case, you see a title, title 1, title. What do those mean? The first title is the x-axis, which runs east-west. The second one is the height, or y-axis. The third one is the z-axis. It also represents the north-south. And we're going to set this to titles, which is the relative to the command block's location. So in this case, uh, the one right here represents like one above the command block, but other than that, it's pretty much at the command block's location. Next, we need to set the lifetime of the firework. We're going to set that to 30. You could set it as low as 15 and as high as 60. Feel free to experiment with higher numbers if you want. We're going to have fireworks item like so. Another curly bracket ID colon firework rocket just like what we did for the start of the summon command. Count. We're going to set that to 1. If you want to you can go ahead and do any amount. Just don't do it to the point where it's going to crash your game. Next we're going to set the tag fireworks colon flight uh, it's going to get set to 2 that basically is similar to the lifetime but it's slightly different however it's affected by the amount of gunpowder you would put into a firework when you go to launch it explosions type is 2 there are 5 types of explosions type 0, type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4 why did I start with 0? because computers always start with zero. We start with one or negative one. It's just computer logic that we have. Feel free to experiment between the four types and what this is should get the, us is a star shape. A flicker, we're gonna go ahead and uh, set that to one. If we wanna say no to flicker, we say zero. Otherwise, we say one. Trail is one. Again, that's yes. Colors, and this is the fi one of the final parts of the command. We're going to set it to like I semicolon and then an eight digit number like so. This should get us either red or blue. One of those two numbers. I believe it's red. This n uh, next one here is blue. Feel free to go ahead and experiment with whatever numbers you want. It could go from like eight numbers to six numbers or whatever. Fade colors. We're gonna again there's an I right here with a square bracket and whatnot semicolon. Uh, again eight digit numbers. And that is pretty much the end of the command. You just need to remember all these brackets and whatnot. Because if you type them all incorrectly and whatnot, and if there's like one missing, the command is not gonna work. So that is the command. And in action, it looks like this. So that is the end of this tutorial here. I hope you all enjoyed it. Subscribe for more tutorials. And I will see you in any one of my other videos that I have created. Bye!